Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving and well. Thank you for showing up today. I'm deeply grateful to see you and I think you're gonna really connect with today's message. You know, more and more, I think that as we kind of navigate the times that we're living in, and I love to say the spiritual journey here in this earth suit called our bodies, looking out in the world and seeing all the opportunities for growth, uh, for navigation, for protecting our hearts and opening our hearts. I mean, it's a, it's a really difficult, hard and beautiful time to be living right now. Gosh, the, uh, the curriculum, that's what I'm calling it these days. The curriculum for spirituality these days is really advanced. And um, I love that we're in class together. So I wanna talk to you about something that um, I've been working on a lot over these last few months. Calm and contentment is the theme of today. And I wanna share with you something that His Holiness the Dalai Lama wrote about contentment. This is beautiful. When you are discontent, you always want more, more, and more. Your desire can never be satisfied, no matter what it is and no matter how much more you get. But when you practice contentment, when you say to yourself, oh, I'm slow enough now in looking around my life and realizing, oh yes, I already have everything that I really already need. That is contentment. Having all that you already really need. And here it is in this time where you look around the world and you look at different ways in which people are scientifically being shown where contentment isn't necessarily connected to some of the things that we chase here, typically in the West. They call it the hedonic treadmill when going after one thing leads to the desire to go after the next thing and feeds our, what our belief is that we have to go and get the very next thing never enough, and we continually run on this treadmill of not enough. And it's really interesting because when you look at the research of the happiest people, the happiest countries, the happiest cultures, it has nothing to do with running after anything. It has to do more with, and frankly always comes back to, being content and satisfied with what it is that you have. And that doesn't mean that we're settling for less, it means that we're settling in the idea of what it is that we have has given us hopefully enough to be where we are and give us life satisfaction. And that's where Harvard research comes in. Harvard has talked about the power of longevity, happiness, goodness, really just having a life that is remarkably well-lived, came down to one simple practice, life satisfaction, which was deeply connected with contentment. Satisfaction is a Latin word or derivative of Latin word that was satis, which was enough, and then action, taking enough action. But not action and going after things, but taking enough action and grateful and gratitude for the things that we have. Focus particularly on relationships and no one more important than the relationship we have with ourselves. And if we do have a spiritual relationship that we practice kindness towards ourselves and a reverence for a connection with something spiritual. Those are the two things. That's where contentment came. And that's where the goodness of life gave itself permission to show up in the science of life long living, where disease rates dropped, where mental health and emotional resilience increased. And here they were, the people that were studied, content with having a life well lived by taking enough action in relationship to how they cared for themselves and how they felt connected to something bigger than themselves. Wow, do I love that. I already have everything that I really need. And maybe today we can step back away from the treadmill if we're on one and simply ask ourselves the things that really are important. Are they here? Do I see them? Do I feel grateful for them? And hopefully I pray for you that each and every one of those questions gives you a absolute yes, a zealous yes to what it is that we have. Thank you. I have this community which is one of the central places of my life satisfaction. And absolutely, when we connect each and every morning, I feel a deep, deep sense of contentment and peace. Contentment and peace. Thank you. Much love. Every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.